The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. Uh, heat. Let's do some royal jelly. Apart from getting the book dirty, I can't see any use for this. Okay. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures, oh. Mortimer's give a cash. Hmm, nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richie to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. All right. I've retrieved everything. Hmm. So I don't want to use the ash. There's something back in here. Ah, here we go. Aha, it's working. The heat reveals the message. Yeah, you put uh, see what You don't have candles wrote. in your pocket? Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? Since you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I'd better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Bam! Member of the Order. Ooh, nice. A priest's robe, crosses. Must be Piaggi's room. This room looks unoccupied. Right. Anything else before we go? One last look around the room here. Pete Ansem says, I am really enjoying this. Awesome, man. Hell yeah. What time does Ko usually get off on his new schedule? Uh, the schedule these days is 9 to 4. Um, I may have to leave a little bit early today because uh, my wife needs me to watch my son um but most days are going to be 9 a.m to 4 and uh maybe even a little bit later yeah if i get a chance i may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests oh you mean right now okay cool good talk um let's go
that must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Yoink. <laughs> The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm, that might come in handy. Yoink. Discovered immunity, politics. <laughs> Napoleon is immune to politics. Who'd have thought? Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Hmm. Oh. Yoink. It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Nice. Also immune to conviction. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powell Lee continues to steer our motherland, Corsica toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Mm. Hey, we hedgehog. A bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? A Byzant. Hey, great. Amber crystals. Boop. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Yoink. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer. Two great army chiefs. Hmm. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Bam. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. All right, looks good. I think we got everything. One more quick look. Uh, is that book under the pillow something we can get? No. All right. Let's keep moving. Can we go to any other guests' rooms? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Hey, other end. Might be better to take a different stairway. Okay. Hey, Jeremy. Wait, we can go in other rooms? Monseigneur, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Hold on. Well, we'll take a look.
Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. We'll see him later. Oh, okay. Well then. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. Ooh. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Uh, oh my. A chest with a half circle pattern. Looks like Letha was let loose. I know, look at that An guy. An untutored hand copied these notes. My lord. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Wait for it, wait for it. Boop, boop. Oh, yes. Oh, no, but it's not centered. One sec, this is really important. Uh, let's do, ooh, science. The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. Oh God. That looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. Wait, 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 wait. Is that good? Are we good? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> nice. Mm, sure. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth prevents the tongue from being sectioned. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? Ooh. Devil's Thorn. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Consume the crystals? Yeah, not right now. These are magnesium crystals. A fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. Hmm. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. Immune to psychology. Oh, good. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you, but they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Mm. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last. Right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. 
Uh, Electronic Lab says, what kind of games do you usually play on this channel? Everything, man. We're, we're big about variety. Single player RPGs, adventure games, uh, RP, RTSs, investigation games, indies, like all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Basically anything that I'm interested in, and I'm interested in a lot of different things. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. Mm -hmm. We won't be able to meet as planned CRPGs. on the first yeah. Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Man, he reads those letters with more emotion than some of the dialogue. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. How do I like the council so far? Well, um, I've already played the first episode a while back, so everything now is kind of catch up. But everything after this episode is going to be new. Um, yeah, so we're today is going to be mostly catch up. Although I I didn't play it like this. The way that I'm playing it now, we we didn't none of our playthroughs before were like this. So it's been it's been interesting. And apparently I am somebody that promotes domestic violence because I'm a huge dick. Um, that's new. That's new for me. Yeah. New for me. Uh, one sec. Hey, Sergeant Toe with the three years of support. Thank you so much. What's up, Dub Live? How you doing, bud? Hey, Nat Machine. What is Ko possibly talking about? Oh, earlier in the game, I had to make this really tough decision where I basically had to let this guy and girl have an altercation specifically to delay the girl getting back to her room so another guy could explore it and give us a bunch of details on stuff. So it was it was just a, ugh, it was a nasty choice we had to make. Ugh. I didn't like it. But we got a bunch of good info, so... It might be better to take a different stairway. How is this game? This is a cool game. It's cool. Yeah. We're on the very first episode. The next couple days, um, we're going to be... Oh, sorry. I dropped a little frame size. Uh, for the next couple days, we're going to be... Um, we're going to be doing all the episodes, beginning to end. So we're going to be beginning to ending this game, essentially. Uh, oh, getting some more... Frame drop here. Give me, give me one second, dude. Let me make sure I, I may have a download or something going. Uh, there's that Epic Games launcher we had to download today. Uh. Mm. Mm. Okay, there we go. Sorry about the drops, dudes. We want to go this way. Yeah, we're going to go to the uh, place on the other side here. HS Noob with the cheer and you long T Gaming, thank you for the cheers, dudes. I appreciate it. And we're going to go back to Ashen probably after this game. Yeah, we'll be checking out Ashen. This is her room. Okay. Hey, Larry Lawless. Fortnite stream soon? Please, I'm not that desperate. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Mm. 
Hmm. So, one of the guys... We can't go up, right? So how many stairways are there? Oh, it must be the third over here. Okay. Sir Mountbank, couldn't care less. No offense. <laughs> really couldn't care less. But yeah. Female half fort Copra. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god. Sorry. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. Yeah. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible oh. behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry. I should have stopped him from beating you. What's done is done. It was my fault, not yours. Don't say that. It's never the victim's fault. Look at your eye. My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. So I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. If I understand rightly, you share a common past? Are you saying I've made it all up? You can ask her when you see her. Wait, what? Oh, she's getting more and more agitated. I, um... And next you're gonna tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've gotta go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. Oh, What's God. The point of rubbing... Okay, hold on. She is... Vulnerable to questioning and immune to psychology and manipulation. Okay, we can't use psych or manipulation on her. Salt in the wounds. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, can I use any of this stuff? Uh, time out. Um, which is the one that makes it so all my things are immune for a little bit? Oh, God. Um, royal... Okay, one is royal jelly, and that gives me more of these back. Uh, next excuse is free. Let's do that. You're right. I, I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You've suffered enough already. I, I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Well, thank you. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Mention your sister. Boom. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. Woo! You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fits stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to... separate me 
from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Okay, 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 okay. This game is weird. This game is very weird. It's one of the best parts about this game. It's super weird. Ricky Resic says, Well, I'm not a fan of Fortnite, but I must ask, why does Code dislike it so much? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm totally messing around. I've never even played Fortnite Battle Royale. Um, I played Fortnite when it came out, like, when it was actually Fortnite, like the defense game. And I played it for like a day, but honestly, it felt kind of like a mobile game to me. It wasn't very interesting. Um, and then I played the hell out of a game called PUBG for months. Like, I played that game when it came out, and like, BR was, you know, kind of like a new thing. And I played that game for months, and honestly, I played PUBG so much that I completely burned myself out on PUBG and pretty much every BR game ever. Um, like, I burned myself out on PUBG so hard that... When Fortnite BR came out, I like, I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I haven't played basically a BR since PUBG. Maybe, maybe one here or there, um, but yeah. So for those asking if I hate Fortnite, I don't really hate it. It's just, it's you know, it's the big phenomenon game right now. It's kind of it's, every day it gets more and more associated with younger and younger kids. Um, so it's you know, like it's just, it's not really my jam, dude. Yeah, it's not really for me. Floopy Floop says, this game is rubbish. Uh, you're welcome to your opinion, but I think it's great so far. I've been having a great time with it. Side note, your mom's rubbish. Just kidding. Uh, I did play Dying Light BR, and that was fun. Yes, Dying Light BR was fun. Yeah. What's up, dude? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> what can you tell me about our host? I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that sir would like to know? Uh, where is your very interesting accent from, sir? Uh, what can I find on the ground floor? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. Sir. From the dining room, Sir may benefit Sir. from an exceptional view overlooking the island. Sir. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery. My lord. Where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. Sir. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. Oh, yes, quite. But Sir may be reassured 
The building is accessible on both sides, oh, quite, quite. so that it surrounds the garden in question. Sir. So, Sir. Sir. Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Hmm. Except for my mother. Has hey, uh, a 